Okay, this news, it, it, it sucks. Uh, I hope it's not right. Uh, I hope that this isn't Nintendo's plans. I hope that, you know, we at least get Nintendo to stick to their March 31st uh, date. But uh, if you don't get or do not have a pre-order in already for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you probably won't be able to get the game physically. At least, that's what it's looking like, according to one retailer who's telling people that uh, they don't think or you know, have any reason to believe that they will be receiving a new shipment of the game ever. Before we get into that, <laughs> we, we do have a couple giveaways going on, including one giveaway for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so three winners, one copy each. Uh, there's a Gleam.io link down in the description for that. You can also join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Originally, it was going to be a physical or digital game you could win for that one, but you know what? It might be impossible for me to get a hold of the physical games, so probably looking at digital. We also are giving away a Switch Lite, and then two second-place winners will win a game of choice. Uh... If you go into the description as well, there's a laundry list of ways that you can enter for that as well. And if I happen to find anywhere that you can still pre-order Super Mario 3D All-Stars, I'll toss that down there as well in case you're trying to get some last-second pre-orders in. Well, this is not what I wanted to talk about in the middle of the night. But uh, there's a UK retailer that has been telling people uh, that... They are not certain that the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game is going to get restocked. Um, so we have been notified of our allocation of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, uh, Nintendo Switch, and it's woefully short. All right. So uh, this comes off of uh, off of Drugfeed Games. You guys might recognize him. He appears on the Spawncast a lot. Um, and the, uh, it's from uh, UK retailer Base. And this is an email they sent out to uh, some people asking about uh, pre-orders and, and when they're going to get restocked. This is very disappointing, and it is with great regret that we have to inform you that we will be unable to fulfill your order on the day of release. Okay, cool. So they took too many pre-orders, uh, and so they can't fulfill it on day of release. That, I mean, that happens. Retailers take more, you know, too many pre- pre-orders. This next line, though. Further. As Nintendo and their UK distributors are unable to give us any reassurance that more stock will become available after release, we have taken the regrettable decision to cancel all orders. Let's read that again. We have just been notified of our allocation of Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Nintendo Switch, and it's woefully short. This is very disappointing, and it is with great regret that we have to inform you that we will be unable to fulfill your order on the day of release. Further, as Nintendo and their UK distributors are unable to give us any reassurance that more stock will become available after release, we have taken the regrettable decision to cancel all orders. Think about what they're saying here. They are canceling all orders for the game, not just because they're going to be woefully short on being able to fulfill their pre-orders, but because they can't guarantee they're ever getting more. Okay? Think about that. A retailer is telling its consumer base, we cannot confirm with Nintendo. We have been in contact with them. They're the, they're the supplier. We cannot get any confirmation that we're ever, ever getting another shipment of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, we haven't seen this talked about yet at other retailers because uh, th- this isn't something that's usually talked about until after launch anyways. Uh, it's very rare that a retailer comes out and even says the ongoings behind the scenes. But this is a very troubling sign. And this makes it look like that March 31st date, uh, <laughs> maybe that March 31st date is for the digital version. Because the physical version might only be a one-time run. Uh, I-, I don't want that to be the case. And Nintendo has to see how incredibly well it's sold. You know, it was on pace physically to outsell Animal Crossing. And now it looks like the only reason physically that it won't outsell Animal Crossing New Horizon is because Nintendo's just not going to make enough of them physically to do it. Now, again, this is just one retailer, but it's the only information we have. This is a legit retailer. I've had it confirmed from multiple sources that Base sent out this email. I mean, this is legit. This is legit. It's legitimately nuts. If we're completely honest, I, I'm just, 
I don't understand Nintendo sometimes. I get that limited runs of games are not unusual for Nintendo. Other companies do limited runs too. That's not just say Nintendo's the only one. Um, Nintendo seems to be the only one that does it with their biggest games for some reason. Uh, not their biggest, the biggest game. I guess you know that's not fair to Nintendo. Like they didn't do this with Breath of the Wild and Odyssey and all this stuff. But like you know when they're bringing out their classic games, why does it got to be a limited run? I get that it increases value. Uh, there's no reason to make the digital version limited. Like the fact that the digital version's gone after the 31st next year is ridiculous. But like to only do potentially one print of the physical version of Super Mario 3D All Stars is one of the most asinine things I've ever heard of. Now, do I do I really believe that Nintendo's not going to make any more? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I I don't know what to believe. I like my mind is telling me there's no way. They said they were discontinuing physical and digital on March 31st. So to me, that sounds like Nintendo must have planned to make more. They had to have known the initial stock would sell out. You know, maybe they didn't think it would sell out at launch, but they had to have known they were going to have to make more, right? Maybe, except they're now they're telling retailers that, hey, we're not guaranteeing you're ever getting any more. That, I mean, that's from Nintendo. That's straight from Nintendo. Hey, we can't guarantee you're getting any more copies of this ever. Um... <laughs> That's a problem. That's a real big problem. So, man. And the thing is, you know, all these people that have pre-orders in on Amazon, all these people that have pre-orders in on Best Buy and Target and Walmart, I bet you all those retailers took way more pre-orders than they're actually going to receive stock. So they're going to have to end up refunding people too because they're not going to get physical copies to cover it potentially. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that this is just kind of a, hey, Nintendo doesn't have enough information to give out when they're going to restock things, which is really weird for a game that doesn't release for a week still. Nintendo could clearly ramp up, you know, printing more cartridges and, and getting them out there and, and, and shipped out and get the next shipment ready. But if they're not doing that, that's a damn shame. It's almost like leaving money on the table because there's going to be some people that would only buy this game physically. There's going to be some people that would not consider this game as a digital purchase. Uh, so that's, it, it's a interesting thing. Um, and I also find it interesting because I always thought that for the holiday period, yes, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is their holiday game. But I always figured that Super Mario 3D All-Stars was going to sell incredibly well during the holidays. So they were going to want physical copies on store shelves. <laughs> what do I know? This is Nintendo. Um... I don't, I don't have a pre-order in. I didn't think it was going to be a problem to get a physical copy for the next couple of months. I didn't really. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that hard. I knew it would sell out at launch. I knew at launch I was probably going to have to buy digitally. Man, to, to, to imagine that they wouldn't do another print. It almost, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense business-wise. I guess the only thing is it really makes that launch... That launch one, super collectible. Like, if you get a physical copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars and you have that pre-order right now at launch, don't open that thing. Leave that Leave that as a sealed copy. If they're not doing a second print, that sealed copy is going to be worth big, big, big money many years down the road. Just buy it digitally if you actually want to play it. It's insane. It's insane. I, I to, to have a retailer come out and say that Nintendo can't assure them they're going to get any more stock of the game ever, it's just, it, it baffles my mind. It baffles my mind. That that shouldn't even be a concern until we get to, like, February. You know, maybe then they start cutting off stock. But we're not even to launch, and they're already cutting stock off. I, I've just never heard of a company doing this before with a brand new game coming out. Oh, hey, look, it's super popular, high selling, by the way. We, we're not giving you any more. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, there's always time for Nintendo to change their minds. And I've talked about how that March 31st date might just be a tentative thing and, and they might extend it. But, I mean, are they going to? Are they really going to? Man. Man. For all you, you lucky, you know, handfuls of millions, probably, you know, four or five million out there that, that got your pre-order in and are legitimately getting a physical copy. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, because the rest of us won't be able to get one. At least that's what it, that's the only information we have right now until Nintendo says otherwise. All right, folks, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. I know kind of a late night, middle of the night video. I couldn't sleep. Maybe this news is why I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the next video.